Hi guys, welcome to my tutorials corner. This is Abhi and you are watching part 9 of WPF tutorials video series. This is continuation to part 8. Please watch part 8 before proceeding. In the last video, I have shown you that how you can create the image button in WPF using stack panel inside the button control. I have created these two buttons. Actually, let me go to the code. Let me run this. Now you can see the two buttons which I have created in my last video. But if you will see that when I am hovering the mouse on it, this is showing the default effect of button. Like this is changing the background color. And when I am leaving the mouse from it, the default property is working. Actually, this is happening because the default triggers are working. So how we can remove the hover effect from these buttons? Let's look at this. First of all, go to the button control and then I'm going to create button dot template. Now what this code is going to do, this is going to provide a empty template for us on this template there will be no effect like when you will over a mouse on it or when you will leave mouse from it nothing is going to happen okay you can create your own custom events on it using the triggers i will talk about the triggers in my later video sessions so first of all let's see how we can create the image button using button template now inside the button template we will create the control template now simply take this from here because we have to show the image first and then we have to show the text okay And now the same way do this for the second button dot template and now control template and then copy this code and paste it here now we can remove the background and border brush from here because we are using the but button template so there will be no predefined background color or the border uh, and other things like that so remove this from here too we are almost done now run this code you can see there is no hover effect on it we can put some more properties here like cursor is equals to hand and copy here place it and also we can create some events on it let's say click event and also go to the CS code and write message dot so hello now run this code click and you can see the hello is appearing there we can do some more we can simply say margin 10 and this is going to lift it from all the sides so this is working fine so in this way you can use the button control template to create image button so that's it from the today's video tutorial please subscribe comment let me know your suggestions thanks for watching have a great day